Main. But okay, okay, the round can start now. But let's see, you know, we're not in that format anymore, right? It's been five years since that format. And now we see Salad winning the Rock Paper Scissors shoot. So let's see. Let's see. We got Ender plays going first. Oh, it was Defo 80, 20 in Thunder's favor. Yeah, I mean, there was like Sanctum that could help blow him out. Lancia, Droll. Like, there was definitely some cards that could help out. No material is decent against Thunder. But the thing is, they could beat it a lot of the time. Okay, sign and mining, discards Ash Blossom, bring out Bazel. We can grab back Ash later on, though, if we can get a Sunlight Wolf set up. Uh, dump Spinny, Summon Spinny, sure. I doubt that Not Throwing's deck list plays that many hand traps. Uh, they could have, like, Rock in their deck, though. It's a pretty good card. Not gonna lie, I was like 11 and a bozo in that format. Now that, that, that format was heat. That format was heat. Even, even if you were 11 and a bozo. Uh, when was the last time anyone seen no material? I forget. It's, it's been a while though. It's been a couple of years. I know people were hyping it up a couple of years ago. But I'll make Sunlight Wolf. Jack Jaguar, put back, summon, Sunlight Wolf. Oh, gets good sell back. Okay. Sure, sure. Dane's release. I don't even know what that is. Wait, oh, oh like the set? Like the set? Uh, I don't know set names, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know a lot of set names after, like, 2017. I know what LEDE is, though. I know that type of stuff. I know that one. Uh, ding, Mystic Mine, Mining. Oh, oh, yep, 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 yep. I, it, was, it, was, it was not bad, though. It was not bad. It was really good against Orcus. But that's really it. Against Orcus, they just make Nightmare Phoenix up in the extra monster zone. No material. Pass. Uh, that is what it do. Yeah. The copy and paste of the Salmon Great Charge. The special summon back. Or the pop. Or the pop. Yeah, some people play that over rage because it's a spell that actually does something else. Okay, so activate Thunder Dragon effect. Discard. Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon. I can't believe Mystic Mind ever actually came out in the game though. I'm, su I'm surprised they ever let that card got released. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> they open two Thunder Dragon. Now they get hit with Ash on the Glory effect. Okay, so that makes sense why they didn't add it back then. Chaos Base, discard Thunder Dragon Dark. And then we can get hit with Roar there. Or at least that's what they're thinking on, or at least bluffing it. So, yep, they said it's fine. Sure, sure. It is good there, though. That is pretty good there, though. Chaos Space, Discard, Thunder, Dragon, Dark. Salmon, Banish, Dark Effect to go search. Then we'll have White to search, Black. Chaos Space, put back. Draw, Black to go search, White. So many cards. I'm surprised it took so long for mine to get banned. Oh, the card, the card was, like, the card was, like, okay for a while. Because, like, yeah, I think we had, like, and, uh, like, two formats that Eldlish was one of the most popular decks. So, like, Mystic Mind wasn't really that good in that format. There was Virtual World. They had Virtual World Choo Chi to go ahead and pop. So there's definitely some formats where, like, it's like a year straight where that card just wasn't even that good. Okay, Banish White, Summon Out Black. Yeah, and then we have Chaos Beast, Banish put back, but I guess, I was going to say, I guess they could pop first. This sets up the double pop too, if this goes through. So a pop, pop, special, that's the one pop, Raging Phoenix Graveyard effect, special, and now that gives the charge the pop. Eldritch versus Virtual World, Tone Tone Nash. That matchup was very good for Virtual World. Salmon Great Charge is so underrated. 
Yeah. I agree. Quick activate Thunder Dragon Hawk. Discard. Summon back out. This also doesn't target, by the way. But they said that's good. So special summon back out. Thunder Dragon Dark. And then on that summon, we're thinking if we want to go ahead and pop, we do pop it before maybe they go for like a Colossus. Or, yeah, I gotta be Colossus. I was gonna say that there's no shot they have a Dark in their grave. So we'll go ahead out that there to use that effect to search this turn. The Glory got hit with Ash Blossom, but they still have a King Sark in their hand. So activate King Sark. We roar to negate that now. Yeah, good luck. There's like no shot. We know one of the cards in hand is probably a Thunder Dragon. Actually, it for sure is a Thunder Dragon, especially if they played it like this. So it's a Thunder Dragon, and then whenever the... Oh, okay. That's not the greatest. But summon out Sky Crisis, Detach, Bounce Back Raging Phoenix. We can beat over the Princess. Yep, they had nothing to stop that. But Salad has Gazelle in hand. Jack Jaguar in grave. Spinny in grave. Is that thing here? Do they have Bestial Magma Mutt? Are we going to Magma Mutt them here? At end phase? End of main phase 2? Can't do that one. Yeah, they're going to let them know. Yep. Typhoon. Yep, can't activate monsters with 3,000 or more attack. Ha, awkward, awkward. Am I tripping? Uh, yeah. Typhoon, this, this is like a card that plays around Nib. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. That's wild. There's definitely times where like, you can put up enough damage and then be like, I'll summon Sky Crisis, detach, bounce, battle phase game, and like that's a way to play around Nib. You know, they said awkward, weird. It doesn't even matter, though. Like, I don't think Salad can lose this one. So they top deck Circle. So now they have Circle, Gazelle, plus Rock in hand. So go ahead, grab out Solomon, Great Falco. So at the bare minimum, when this turn ends, if we somehow don't have game, like if we mess it up, we have Princess, Roar. Like, those are automatically going to be set up. And Ash Blossom could be added to hand. Too many interruptions. No salad W. No, no, no. This is definitely a salad W. There's no shot this is not a solid W. Salad player has to throw hard to lose. Yeah. Especially with the opponent not being able to activate rock either. And we doubt it's in their deck. They have one blank card in hand. Yeah, it's game. So, that drew happy for turn. Sheesh. Said chaos space, I mean. Oh, off the chaos space. Ha. <laughs> yeah, draw unhappy with chaos space. Unfortunate. They said optimal draws. This, yeah, the salad deck doesn't have that in it. Nah, but okay. On to the next game now. Oh, we will get to go ahead and see the Thunder Dragon player go first. Now, back in this actual format, there was no Rock. Rock is pretty good against both of these decks. Yeah, I don't think the, Thun yeah, the Thunder Dragon player didn't really seem like they were playing around it before. How do they even play around it? Do they just Appalooza? Or I guess they summon Seal and if they get hit with it, then they get Seal summoned. Maybe that's their way to like play through it instead of trying to play around it. But Solar, Effect go dumb. Yup, that can go dump like a Roar. We dump a Thunder Dragon Hawk from deck. Do we have a Black Dragon? Yup, okay. Banish special. Then Thunder Dragon Hawk effect. Put back. Draw, try to fix the hand there, make it better. Okay, so put back two, draw two. A hey, shout out to official party cheeky one for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Activate regain now. Oh, that's actually a really good draw. That's just chaos space. So link off in the striker, black go search white. Then we can special white, banish black, regain, put back, draw. Oh, they said res? Oh. Oh. Sure. That's fine. That's, that seems like a really bad bestial magma mode there. I'm not gonna lie. Unless... 
Unless that they have nib in hand. Because they're trying to stop Seal from being summoned. Hmm. Activate Allure now. Go draw, banish. Uh, glad to be here. Where of you thinks the MBT showing off your fruit tier list? Amazing content. He showed off the fruit tier list? I, I, didn't, I didn't even know he showed that off. But that's funny. <laughs> but hey, hey, thank you. I appreciate you for being here. Yeah, the, the fruit tier list went crazy. I, I'm not going to lie. Even to this day, I still eat oranges or mandarins or whatever those things are called. Same thing. They're both orange little balls. But, hey, yo. But, uh, yeah, I still eat mandarins to this day and bananas. Both of those fruits are insane. Apples, I do not eat apples. Nope, too much work. Because you got you to gotta make them into apple slices. I'm not about all that work. Say, hey, yo. Hey, yo, yo. I, I hit a pause. I hit a pause. I hit a pause. I hit an AO real quick. Come on now. Come on now. I caught myself. I caught myself. So just don't, you know, that, that's one thing that's bad about streaming though, bros. You can just clip it out of context and I can't stop it. I can't stop it. You can just cut the AO. You can literally just cut the AO and I can't stop it. No, that actually sucks. But summon zombie vampire effect. Uh, how do you feel about strawberries? Weird commentary. Uh... How do I feel about strawberries? Okay, so I don't like strawberries. I'm not going to lie because I hate the seeds on them, bro. I hate the seeds on them so much. The seeds on a strawberry are so like so bad. I would love to get I would, I would eat a seedless strawberry, but I was told like they don't make those. Also, the zombie vampire there, not great. Not great. But also not bad. We get a dark in the grave. We hit a bestial magma mutt. We can't bring this out. Yeah, so we're gonna bring out Thunder Dragon Dark. Okay, so we don't have a bestial in hand then. Oh wait, that's nice. Uh is that seedless strawberries crazy? Grinder, they sell apple, apple, apple slices, cutter, you push down and it cuts the core and gives you like six slices, takes four seconds. Nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Because it's still going to have the shell on it, you know? Like it's not going to like fall off. Chaos Creator so cool. Actually, I like this card a lot. I can't wait for that card to actually be like meta, meta one day. It's time will come. But they're going to go dark, SP, banish the bestial, magma, mutt. Okay, go search. We already went through Thunder Dragon Hawk. We also didn't use this. Which is kind of tough. We're going to go search out Thunder Dragon Roar. Okay. Thunder Dragon Roar effect. Grab out Thunder Dragon Hawk. Just make Colossus and then pass. Sure. Couldn't they have... Oh, they would have, like, Dark, Solar, Token, Striker, Zombie Vampire. They could have made Skull Dread. We know what they play it. So they could have made a Skull Dread here and then made this end board. Uh, from recent experience, I can tell you, a fruit to dodge is a whole pineapple. Nightmare to cut up. Uh, same with mangoes. Same with mangoes. Mangoes? Like, the whole fruit of it? Nope. Nope. No shot. It's actually impossible. Said, here's the big boy, better have it. Just like the old days. Yeah, but this end board sucks compared to the old days. Said, nah, I don't need Drus. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Let's say Magma won't be able to resolve because Colossus, Droplets, Send. That's pretty good. Mango. Hey. <laughs> Hey, yo, hey, yo. <laughs> That's funny. I see you're celebrating the, the YCS weekend. Activate Circle Ghost Search. It is kind of wild, though. Because the YCS is on 420. Obviously, like, you know, nobody's allowed to be intoxicated at the event. But I wonder how many people uh, are at least going to smell like it. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. Okay. Uh, circle, go ahead. Search out Gazelle. And then, and then what? We have Gazelle, Spinny, 
Like Spinny and Grave, Gazelle in hand. Our opponent has regained to summon back out. Not Baldrick, though. Which would be like an actual interruption, like a really good interruption. But now we just have to bring this out for follow up. Said, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, a oh, normal summons out EMP. Or wait, this. Wait. Okay, this special out EMP. Oh, then they're gonna go regain, summon out Magma Mutt. Magma Mutt effects, search during end phase, make bailings. It's crazy they play Meow Mine in their deck. And still have it in going second too. Uh, we go ahead, grab out Sanctuary. Drops, draw, and lock, bird. Uh, so the goat. I feel like, is draw good against Salad when you go first? I know draw is good against Salad when they go first. I don't know how good it is when you go first, though. Like, they can't Raging Search. Like, that's good. Because then they can't get the will. Which I guess makes it harder to go for a game. So that I have to do so much this turn. Yeah, I mean, we gotta, like... Out. We gotta out at least these three bodies. This one's really easy to out. This one's actually pretty easy to out, too. Because it's under Droplet. This is also not that hard to out. We can just bounce it. Okay. Sure, all three bodies seem easy to out, but we gotta out the back row. This is where the heat Leo comes up. God, yes. Uh, does Drill stop, stop the end phase search? Uh, yeah. Yep, but that's fine, because we, we can just add from Grave. So we can just, like, add back Safe Rude. Or Striker, I guess. But okay, they make SP, they go New Chain Link, SP, Gazelle. Banish Colossus, summon out. Uh, they said, oh, ain't playing SOF. What's SOF? Uh, Salomon Gray of Fusion. I don't, I don't think, I don't, is that even the name of the card? I don't think it is, right? I, I'm not even sure, I'm not sure, but okay. Uh, link those off now, make Princess. Salad of fire. Oh, okay. 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 That's fair. That's fair. I'm surprised they're not playing it. You definitely, I like, I think it's a mandatory one of at least. At least. That way, when you mirage Stalio into it, it's crazy. But okay, summon Foxy. That's going to get the out one. Now we have Mirage Stalio. Out this. Out this. Out this. Uh, so I guess all we gotta out is the regain now. But I mean, they're still gonna have follow up. They're definitely not out of this game yet. It's not looking too crazy for them though. So they're gonna bring out Falco. Ha! <laughs> they milled Roar earlier. That's actually crazy. Zombie Vampire milled the Roar. Okay, so summon that out. Go battle phase. Boom, boom, beat over, beat over. That's fine. Uh, yeah, you can still add from Grave, so I forgot about that effect. Yeah, Magma being able to add from Graveyard is a little bit wild. Like, being able to add from deck is, like, obviously the best part of the effect. But being able to add from Graveyard, it's like, why even, like, add that extra effect to it? So, Mirage, Stalio, Bounce and then I mean they're definitely linking off Falco right to set up the negate. Hey shout out to T uh, Gudster said yo what's up DBG what's up what's up appreciate the sub that is going the money from that's going straight to the winner of this tournament. Right now we're watching Salad versus Thunder which uh I'm not gonna lie it's kind of wild to see Salad versus Thunder. Wait. Uh, makes a Sunlight Wolf. Sure, I guess put Raging Phoenix in the graveyard. Princess is still alive. They have the Meow, which, oh, that's probably why they did that, right? Yep, you know, that's fair. That's fair. Because this has to have a Link 2 leave. Like, specifically a Link 2. Like, not Link 2 or lower. Okay. 
That's actually a good amount of interruptions there. Wait, what did they even grab back there? Uh, I guess just refresh. What'd they grab back? Uh, they grab back White Dragon, okay. So they have normal summon solar plus white dragon. That's the old combo. What are you taking the Raleigh? Uh, I'll pro I don't know if I'm going to bring this hat or not. I might. Uh, definitely bringing my book bag, my deck, uh, probably my phone and the charger for it. Yeah, I'll probably, probably be bringing that stuff for sure. Magma Mutt, adding from graveyards probably to fix the states. Uh, easier if people forget to add during end phase and turn passes. True, true. But it is kind of troll though. <laughs> I'm at one deck. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'll probably pull up with a uh, Runic, Kashtira, Plunder, Flunder, uh, Dragon Link. Pro probably something like that. Something close to that at least. Uh, what about the peanut butter, jam, and bread you forget on the Essentials DVG? What are you doing? Well, you can't bring that on the plane with you. Actually, can you? Nah, you probably can't. They probably, because, like, jam is, like, a liquid, kind of. So, they'd probably be, like, no jam. Can't bring your jam on the plane. But, 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 I am going to be buying that stuff when I get there. So, when I get there... Just walk, bro. Triv would do it. Nah, Triv would... He probably brings, like, the protein powder and stuff. <laughs> he probably brings all that stuff. Bring Brings a protein shake. They're like, no liquid. He's like, you sure? You sure about that, bro? But... Uh, is this game one or two? This is game two. Salad one, game one. They broke this game two. You can bring some liquids in small amounts. Yeah. Well, like, the amount of gin that you can bring, I would need way more than that. Like, when I get there on Friday... I'm buying a container of peanut butter and a container of jam and a loaf of bread. And I'm eating PB&Js on Friday, Saturday, and mainly Sunday. Not all the day Sunday. Might also, might also, uh, I don't know, maybe, or maybe, maybe instead of that, maybe instead of that, maybe I just end up buying like two pizzas, some two like great value pizzas, or those, uh, I forget what they're called, toaster nose or something like that, get those pizzas, like the $1 pizzas, ah yes, okay, they're gonna go bestial ability on search, they said rip, that's a pretty good troll, isn't it, you forgot Brazilian steakhouse, nah, I am not going to Fogo, I am not going to Fogo, I, I just can't spend that much money on food, it's so insane, it's actually it's insane. It really is insane. I'm not going to lie. It's like $70. $70 to eat. It's insane. Last time I went, I literally had to put food in my pocket so that way I mentally felt better about myself before I left. I had to put food in my pocket and be like, hey, at least I got a snack for later type shit. You know what I'm saying? But... Money is imaginary, you'll get it back later. Uh, but I could also just eat chicken tenders and I'll be just as happy. Actually, I'll be more happy if I eat chicken tenders. I'm not going to cap. But they're going to go Jewish for banish. Honestly, I would, I would rather, like, like, I'm not even lying when I say this. Like, instead of going to, like, Fogo, I'd rather go to, like, like a Chinese buffet or a Mexican buffet or even a Golden Corral. Like, those, those places are honestly better. Like, I'm not I'm not just saying that, but, like, they're, like, one-fifth of the price, and they're honestly better. Especially, like, a Chinese one. Chinese ones are crazy. Uh, you eat tenders with sauce? Uh, yeah. Normally. Normally. I would eat chicken tenders without sauce, though. Like, if there was no sauce, I wouldn't be like, eh, I don't want them. But, you know, uh, barbecue... Ketchup, either either one. Honestly, mayonnaise, mayonnaise. All you do with anything. Chicken tenders are stupid crazy. Oh, uh, they do. They have a dark. Oh, they do have a dark in their graveyard. They made us pee. Ha. 
Okay, so take that. That's fine. Oh, uh, it's crazy. Ranches only in the states. Nah, I don't. I don't even. I don't even like ranch to be honest. I like it a little bit, but not that much. Honestly, I don't even like it really. I'll put it on boneless wings. Like if there's like no other sauce, and I don't like the wings that much, then I'll put some ranch on it. But if it's like a barbecue wing, then like I don't even need ranch. Mayo, ketchup, fire. Oh uh, God, yes, like, like you know, stir it up a little bit. Chick Fil A sauce, goaded mustard though. No, nah, I don't. I don't like every mustard. I don't like mustard really. Like, if there's like a tiny bit of it, then sure. But it's probably got to be like another sauce on it, like mixed in with it. Okay, spin that back. That's fine. Oh my gosh, they drew Melody of the Awakening Dragon off Unicorn. Nah, that's actually. It's actually so stupid. There's no shot. Grab out Levy. Uh, let's see. They definitely have another target. Yeah, grab out that. That's fine. That's just game. GG, GG. On to game three now. Holy. Uh, Haynes has it pre-made in a bottle. And it's called Saucy Sauce. What? Ketchup? Mayo ketchup? That's wild. I don't even know they had that. To be fair, I don't remember the last time I've actually gone to like a grocery store or anything like that. It's been a while. But okay. On to the next game now. We got game three. Ender plays is gonna go first on salad. Now you gotta make it yourself. It's better than the pre-made bottle. Okay, ooh, normal summon out Lady Debug. Okay, so not throwing. We know they play Droll. Do they hit them with a Droll right here? Nope. Okay. Do they have Rock? <laughs> it's like, that's the second question. I guess they also put a Light in the Grave. That could be good for like a Bestial of Magma Mutt. So, Banelings, go search out Sanctuary. Sure. Sign it mining now, discard spinny. Uh, add some minced garlic to fire. Minced garlic, gotta try that. Uh, Droll back to being crazy this format. I wouldn't say it's crazy. I wouldn't say it's crazy, but it's fine. I think, like, if you play against Fire King Snake Eye, that card's crazy. If you play against Pure Snake Eye, it's like, I don't know, it's not, it's not that good. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know. I just don't like the Fire King cards. Those cards just, like, they suck. They're really good if you get to set up your board. But, like, it's harder to set up your board when you have those cards in your deck. Those cards are very awkward. But, Search Weasel... Got the dump roar. So they're just going for full combo here. They have EMP, Meow Mine in rotation. They have Roar that's going to get set up. Princess interruption. It's an AO, Fire King based. Uh, Pierce Snake Eye is not real. I don't think Cash is, I guess. But that isn't impeccable in the droll. Huh? You, you, don't, you don't think Pierce Snake Eye is real? That's crazy. That is crazy. Like, Pure Snake Eye is like... It it, did, it barely even got hit. Really, you just like cut the synchros. But like... Not, not even everyone played the synchros. So it's like fine. Like, the deck didn't get hit. Really. Link Kuribo being gone sucks a little bit. I, mean, I think Snake Eye Cash is real, by the way. Oh, oh you think it's real? I, th I think Pure Snake Eye and Snake Eye Cash. I think both those are definitely real. I think Snake Eye Cash is pretty much just the same thing as Pure. I mean, there's like a little bit of a difference, but like... There's a decent amount of games where like you don't even draw the cash cards. So it's like, okay, cool, I'm just playing Pure Snake Eye. Uh, TG Snake Eye time. God, yes. Calamity Lock. Shout out to that card for not getting banned. 
Shout out to that card for not getting banned. Good for Centurion, though. Otherwise, the deck would be completely unplayable. That deck's already not in a great spot. Okay, wow. So we really ended on the full end board here. We have EMP Engrave, Princess on Field, Roar. Uh, we have Pop. We have SP, Hand Trap. Said no Bago Rip. I don't even know what that is. Babuska? Is that? Oh, no, Babuska. Rip. Uh, even though TG topped recently, Keck W. What did it top? Actually, don't answer that. I can, I can, wait, let me take a guess. South America. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing. Centurion kind of mid. Yeah, that deck's definitely mid. Fortnite Grinder 1. Nah, 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 nah. So, locals. Three man locals. I mean, I do play Fortnite sometimes, but not not that that often. So far, though, against Yu-Gi-Oh players, have not lost in Fortnite one v one. But that's also because I know I know one Fortnite player that plays Yu-Gi-Oh that would for sure beat me. I know he would. I know he would. Eddie Eddie would beat me for sure. DVG on the grind. I'm on the Yu-Gi-Oh grind, not the Fortnite grind. And then after this YCS, I got to test post LEDE and I got to get ready for my One Piece tournament. Oh god, yes. If I do well in that One Piece tournament, I'm going to be swearing so hard. Fortnite where the money at? Now nah, poker's where the money's at. Poker's where the money's at. I've been playing poker recently too. Sheesh. Game's crazy. Stream the One Piece testing. Maybe. Maybe. I've been kind of thinking about getting to One Piece TCG. Yeah, that game is, uh... It literally takes 30 minutes to learn. <laughs> it takes 30 minutes to learn the game. And the game is relatively cheap compared to Yu-Gi-Oh. The prizing's broken. I would only play One Piece for the prizing, though. Nah, I think I think it's actually a good game. Like I played other games. I played Pokemon. I've tried Magic. I don't I don't like those games. But like One Piece, you got better prizing than both those games, and the game's nice. So like it's cool. But also, like, if I care about prizing that much, you know, I'm, I'm just going to play poker. Like, poker, you actually get, like, real, real, real money. Like, look at, like, the top 10 earning in poker. They all have, like, 50 million and above, roughly. Something like that, right around there. Okay, so, SP Banish, Regain got to draw... One Piece TCG, it's a fun Yu-Gi-Oh pod. I've been told One Piece is expensive, uh, cause app, it's impossible to find product, but might just be a UK thing. Uh, no, nah, product's easy to find. Maybe before, but like this most recent set was not good, so it's easy to find. I mean, also, who's buying product, you know what I mean? Like, if you're buying boxes, then you're an animal. You just gotta buy singles. And the stuff's going to get reprinted soon. But that's like every game, right? Like if you buy boxes to gamble, like you're just wild. Like it's always cheaper just to buy singles. Okay, they're going to bring out Glory from Grave. Also, uh, not, hmm. Ha. That's funny. <laughs> Nah, that's so crazy. Yup, this won't result. Wait, wasn't that Imprim Column? Milda? It? it wasn't used? Am I tripping? I guess, I guess it just wasn't used. I thought it was. Okay. 
But sure, 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 sure. So they're gonna go ahead, summon out, bring out Happy now. That's fine. So they're just not outing the King Sir. Oh, it lag a little bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, does Code of Soul make this deck good? Code of Soul's weird. I don't know if people are actually gonna play it or not when it comes out. It does give the deck like, like pop field capabilities. Looking good with the haircut, DBG. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I uh, I cut it myself. F felt like I did good. I did mess up though. There's like one spot. I don't know if I could really show it, but like it's like on the back of my head. I realized it. I gotta I gotta do a little bit, a little bit more, and then it'll be good. But won't be bad. Bald spot grinder. Nah, it's not a bald spot. It's not a bald spot. If anything, it's it's more hair. Cause like I don't know, I just gotta like cause like my haircut is really just like this. And then this side gets shaved a little bit more. This dot this side gets a little bit longer. So I gotta like just make it a little bit cleaner. Cause when I was doing it what I did is I set up a tripod behind me and I just took my phone and FaceTime myself and then used the phone. Like I sat on FaceTime and just looked at myself shaving the back of my head and then my phone died. So I had to stop. I didn't want to like gamble it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like gambling it would be kind of crazy. Loki actually impressive. Yeah, it was my first time cutting my own hair. But I don't know. It's not that hard. Not that hard. Next next time I'll do better for sure. Also, I didn't I didn't get to like fade it in that much, cause like that was kind of hard. Scissors versus hair, gotta love to see it. No, I didn't use scissors. I just used like a razor. I used scissors a little bit, cause like the hair I got a little bit of like hair behind my ears that I was like not able to get. So I was like, Doo -doo 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 -doo. okay, summon chaos creator. This card's crazy. <laughs> okay, uh. Also, yeah, they're going to target their base. I was going to say, they can, huh. Yeah, this could also target the opponent's banished. So, they should have done that. I mean, it doesn't matter there, because they got hit with Roar. But, like, being able to put the opponent's SP Little Knight back at the bottom of their deck, that does seem pretty good, though. So we summon Sky Crisis. Okay. Sky Crisis, Detach, Bounds. This doesn't seem that good though. It seems like they still just lose to Salad's follow-up. There's no way Salad doesn't like have enough follow-up here. There's seven minutes left in the round. Okay, detach, go bounce. They're thinking about what they want to bounce. Bounce raging. Leaving princess is crazy. Well, maybe they got a plan. We need John Jones in one of these turnies. Nah, he, he. First of all, he doesn't like me. <laughs> he doesn't like me. It's actually funny. I was on my John Jones. I was on my John B R B P Jones account, and he messaged me, and he was like, "Who is this?" And I was like, what do you mean? I'm John Jones. And he's like, no, you're not. I'm John Jones. I said, no, you're John James. I said, I'm John Jones. <laughs> and he was like, no, I'm the real John Jones. And then he was in, yeah. I was like, how do you even know who I am? And he said that he saw the video. And he was like, tell DB Grinder I'm quitting Yu-Gi-Oh. And I was like, hey, I am him. What's up? <laughs> that guy, I don't know, that guy doesn't like me. But no, he would never play in the tournaments. Because even if he won it, he can't get paid. He'd, he'd have to get paid in DB Dono codes. Because he wouldn't want to give out his real name for his PayPal. The real John Jones. Yeah, I'm the real John Jones. I'm the real John Jones. He's John James. He's a wannabe. So summon out Raging Phoenix. Raging Phoenix effect go search. Imagine all this time I was John Jones. I've had so many people comment that. That'd be so crazy. Played the long game. The long con. Started it in like 2013 on DN. 
been doing it ever since. Knew the time would come where I could make the toxic, toxic title. The long con. But search weasel, summon out weasel, and now they will blink off, summon out nightmare phoenix. Okay. Now, nightmare phoenix effects. Oh, they're thinking? Oh, I guess they have gazelle. Yeah, yeah, gazelle effect. Oh, discards foxy too. That's actually tough. That's pretty tough. Spider Man meme. Uh, from the replays we've seen, he's been better than he used to be, but he's still John Jones. I don't know if he can redeem himself. Yeah, he's definitely better than he used to be. He used to be really bad. It hasn't even been bad recently, to be honest. A lot of it's the opponents, but sometimes they'll still take five minutes to make a decision. To be fair, I played a Snake Eye Mirror match. Oh my god, my opponent was playing so slow. It actually hurt. It took like 15 minutes, the worst part, they took like 15 minutes for their turn one. I dropped zero hand traps and then I admitted defeat because my hand was a little engine and they're like, bro, I'm crazy. And I was like, there's no shot you're saying this right now. <laughs> and then I still won. Game two, I did the full combo in like two minutes and it hit me with double hand trap. I didn't even have cross out. I mean, obviously not every time it's that fast, but I don't know. Snake Eye is not that hard. Sometimes while breaking a board, it's a little bit hard. When they hit you with hand traps and stuff. And then you gotta change it up. He does play super slow sometimes, though. Yeah. Cows Before Gals was actually a bozo. I forget who that even was. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. The... Yeah, I remember that now. Yeah. Uh, I don't get how bro only plays Flu and Sword Soul. Flu, Flu's a fun deck, I'm not gonna lie. That deck actually is fun to play. Uh, so Weasel, EMP, and they're, now they're gonna activate Princess. Wait, what's SW? Uh, am I tripping? I guess it doesn't even matter. It just doesn't even matter. It's just game. Yup. Unless if they have rock in hand. Which I don't think they do. Battle. Doop. Game. Uh, bro, if I get knocked out of one of your tournaments against another normal summon Robina, Andy. <laughs> Wait. There, oh, there's still... Flu in the tournament. I think I let two flu players in. I think it was two flu, two runic stone. Oh, battle went through. Okay. Well, I guess they still have bestial. Bestial could still save them. Nope, it's not saving them. I was going to say they're taking the life points too fast. Okay, let's see. At least they didn't go to time. Um. Okay, so there's still one more match. Oh, they're down at that. They activated Cosmic. Why would you keep Cosmic in when there's five minutes left? Oh, but they got to look in their puppet. Okay. GG. Activate Talon. Stroll two. Sure. That's fine. Good luck drawing. Something's going to do anything. Yep. <laughs> GG. GG.